Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and, um, and this feels really weird to say while staring at a camera instead of a Minecraft computer screen. Uh, but we're here today, um, and it's weird. <laughs> so, I've been kind of wanting to do something a little bit different with my channel, and I thought that, you know what, it's might as well, might as well just give it a try now. Um, so, yeah, basically today we're gonna be working more with electronics than video games, um, because... Why not? Honestly, I thought I'd give it a try, see how it works. Um, today's gonna be a very silly episode. Oh wait, no. Today's a stupid episode. Um, hopefully in the future they'll be more silly and less stupid. But I still hope that you guys enjoy it and I hope that I can make it as entertaining for you guys as possible. Uh, so basically today we're going to be taking an Arduino, hooking up to a servo, and then basically just taking a grape, electrifying it automatic cookies and cookie clicker. Um, if you did not understand that, that's completely fair, and hopefully you won't need to. I start with my ESP8266, uh, which is not actually an Arduino, uh, but it's a nice little board. I use it a lot. And then I also just uh, looked through my brother's, like, Arduino electronics box, and I found an old servo. Got two breadboards, some basic jumper cables. And after all this, I actually remembered that I have an Arduino box that's filled with jumper cables and other useful things. Um, so I just grabbed that out to have it with me. This is a 5 volt servo. Uh, I actually had to change out my ESP for a Arduino Mega because uh, my ESP only went to 3.3 volts. Well, this can handle 3.3 and 5 volts. Um, so it should be pretty simple. Basically, we're just going to take a jumper cable, whatever you want to call this, um, and we want to find the 5 volts right here. So we basically just push that in and then we take our breadboard what a breadboard does, basically all the rows right here, if I put a 5 volt in there, now all the rows that are going horizontally all are connected to 5 volts. Um, and if I take one and I attach it to ground, and there we go, now we have one attached to ground and one attached to 5 volts. So basically these two rows right here, uh, the one farthest away from me is 5 volts, and the other one, the black one, that is ground. Now from there we want to hook up our servo. And our servo has these three little ports right here and three different wires. Uh, black is black or brown is typically ground. Uh, red is power voltage, um, and then the white is where you want to put in your controller. So we have our white jumper cable right here, and we will just feed this into one of the digital ports. So for this one, I will go for 40, and then from there we can basically just hook up directly to our servo so we can put our controller and then what we can do from here is basically now that everything on this breadboard is hooked up to five volts on this horizontal line uh, we can basically just feed any jumper cable in there and then we can feed that right into our uh, servo this green one can act as ground we just got to remember uh, these colors and that's our servo basically hooked up it looks pretty messy I understand that um, but it's really pretty simple. Uh, the, now the main thing that we have to do is just program it with uh, my computer. Now we'll also of course have to hook up our grape. Um, the problem is I do not have a grape in this household as of right now. Um, so we'll do that at a different time, but it's pretty simple. Basically we just hook it up to 3.3 volts. Um, and then yeah, just feed that through the grape into ground. Um, so it's pretty simple. So let me pull up my Arduino software. Now sadly the programming part of this actually kind of got messed up. I don't know how to really record this sort of stuff. Uh, I'll make sure to make it better for next time, but just a quick little rundown of what my code's doing. Uh, basically, this is just including the library that's controlling the servo. Libraries are basically just code that you did not have to write and you can just steal it off the internet. Very useful stuff. Um, this right underneath it is basically just um, noticing that the servo is there, taking it from the library and being like, this is the servo we're using. After that is defining the pin that we're using. That's what we hooked up to the Arduino that's going to be controlling uh, the servo. Uh, from there you see this void setup. That's basically you put code in there that you only want to run one time. Uh, you can see in there we have it basically uh, attaching our servo to the servo pin. So that way, you know, it sees that we have a servo. This is what's controlling it. We're all good. And then underneath that, there is a void loop. This is going to be repeated over and over again um, in your actual code. And you can see um, in there we have it basically writing to the servo, telling it to go to angle zero. It weighs 200 milliseconds. So 1.2 uh, seconds, and then basically it's changing that angle to 10 degrees, and then it's waiting another 200 milliseconds, and then it's just looping that code repeatedly. That's as simple as it gets. <laughs> Bye!
It turned. <laughs> okay, so that's the most it can go though. It's trying to overturn. How do I stop that? I don't know how this works. Okay, so if we attach a grape to this, we would have it on this end, and then we turn it, it hits the bone. No, so and then turn the it back. Way. Right. So have it this end, have it turned down, it hits the phone, and then to turn back up. That's not much of an angle. And I got an error right off the bat. Okay, what? <laughs> I forgot to capitalize. Got another error. And it was just with it uploading the sketch. Because I forgot that I unpowered it. <laughs> hey! Okay, that looks good. So we have this held down, and then we attach a stick to this, and then we have a grape and then we electrify that grape, we can just smack a phone. <laughs> but that should be about 10 times a second, which is pretty good. Okay, yeah, I think I stressed the server out too much. It can't, it can't go that fast. So now the problem is that I need a grape. Um, and I don't know how to get a grape because we don't go out to the stores too often due to the global pandemic. Yeah, I need to go talk to my mom about getting a grape. We just need one. We just need the single. So off camera, I basically just took the servo and uh, took a popsicle stick, just marked where the holes were in the servo and just put holes into the popsicle stick. The very small holes just fed wire through it. And then it basically just holds the popsicle stick on. Um, it's a little bit messy. I don't really know the best way to do it. Um, but it'll get the job done and I don't really have to mess with this too much once I set it up to run. Okay, so the grape's gonna be like that. Okay, so if we stop this now, we can basically just tape the grape right here. Okay, so hopefully there's enough visible skin there for it to go through, and even if there's not, hopefully the electricity can still kind of go through the grape. All right, so now basically what my brother said is that um, we the screen acts as its own ground, obviously. So what we can do is just puncture the grape and feed 3.3 volts into it. All right, and now let's just grab my phone and see if this works out. It was actually really hard to get the 3.3 volts staying inside of the grape, um, but I was able to just kind of hold it to it and it did work. So we just have to figure out a way to get the wire to stay inside the grape. I was able to hot glue the grape in, which kind of held for a little bit. Um, and then my dad also helped me make this nice little foam board uh, that kind of held everything in place. I uh, just think, you know, a nice little setup. Uh, so yeah, basically everything's set up now. Now it's just time to leave it running for about five days, probably. All right, I think this is basically it. So this is the final product, hopefully. We got everything set up, everything's charging. Uh, the Arduino doesn't have power yet, but as soon as I plug that in, it should all kick into action. So let's just plug it in. Look at that. Automated cookies, let's go! <laughs> All right, I think we're done here. I think we can basically just start a time lapse now and leave it running. All right, it is officially the next day and my phone turned off because it's not getting tapped anymore. All right, yeah, the grape looks like it's failing along with the grape, the electricity grape thing. I think that gives the grape electricity. I think that the tape actually broke under too much stress. Oh, okay, wait. 47,000 cookies, no. Last night when I checked it, it was at 44,000 cookies. Oh, I stopped just soon after, that sucks. So actually a little fun fact, um, this touchscreen on my phone is actually a little bit different. Um, it doesn't require so much electricity um, to actually tap on the screen, which means that we actually don't need even that 3.3 volts flowing into the grape. We can just have it without anything and it actually will um, take it as a tap, which means that basically we're just able to move the servo up and that way it actually is tapping the screen now. Um, I think the reason that it failed was that the tape on the grape actually um, is getting looser and looser. It was kind of sticking out, you know, now it's like on the bottom almost the next day. Yet again, I was not able to have it run all night. It stopped yet again soon after I checked on it, of course. Um, but it's not a big deal. We have plenty of time to just let it sit and do its thing. But it's the same problem that we had last time too, so easy fix.
We are 10 cookies away. We are so close to 100,000. And there we go. I'm so happy we finally have hit the milestone. We still have to do this 10 more times and this took like three days, but we're finally, we're finally here. So it's almost 5 o'clock now, p.m. now, uh, and this thing is going ham. It has not stopped or broken down or anything for ages, actually. The only thing is that the grape's getting a little bit old and mushy, so we might have to change that out in a little bit. But the good news is that we're at almost 350,000 cookies, which is absolutely amazing. But yeah, this thing's actually doing really good. I haven't had to deal with any breakdowns or anything, so I think this is basically home stretch. We can just leave it running. Uh, I will probably have to deal with something in like the future, but I think that's basically going to go overnight and everything now without stopping. Now sadly the tape sagged even more, which I didn't think it was even able to do, um, and now it's not tapping the phone yet again. But instead of moving it forward even more, I think I'm just going to replace the grape, because this one's just getting old, mushy, as I mentioned earlier, um, and this is the time to do it. And also tighten the tape a little bit more, um, that way it can't sag as much. And we're getting closer, and hopefully it won't have as many breakdowns, so we won't have to deal with this problem too much more. We're more than halfway there! Yes! This is only taking like four days! But who really cares? Now, we did get delayed a little bit because I uh, I encountered two different problems. Both were actually pretty simple to fix. Um, one, the servo is struggling. It's an old servo, and basically at some points it'll just stop and freeze and not tap the screen for a solid um, up to a minute or two, uh, and I've caught that happen a few times now. And what my phone was doing was just, you know, it wasn't getting a tap and it's just shutting off like all phones do. Um, so yeah, I basically I just set it so that my phone doesn't really turn off even when there's just not getting any input. Um, and then the second thing was that I got the new grape, as everyone knows, um, but the grape was actually getting kind of soft and it was getting flattened out, um, and the popsicle stick was actually hitting the screen instead of the grape. Uh, so I basically, you can see I just chopped off a little bit of the popsicle stick. Not much, but just enough to where the grape is hitting. Um, I also repositioned the grape so that way it's more in the center of the screen instead of almost like not even hitting the phone because it was too far out here. Um, and yeah, now it's working great and this actually should be hitting a million in hopefully a day and a half, I think. I think that we should be able to get a million by then. Okay, wait, I just came in, it is almost noon. Um, and I did not expect it to be this close, that was like at maybe 800,000. I didn't realize that it actually popped off during the night, and it's... We're almost there. I'm actually low-key in shock. <laughs> um, but this is almost over, I can almost get to editing this video. <laughs> Alright, I think we should time up for the rest. I came in at just the right moment. We are so dang close. I'm so excited. This was such a stupid project, but we're almost there. We are less than 300 cookies away from 1 million. So close. This is literally taken like about a week, I think. I think it's been about a week. I'm excited to finally be done with it and being able to edit this video and get it out there. Um, even though it's incredibly stupid. <laughs> All right, we are 50 cookies away. We are 50 cookies away! Oh my gosh! 25 cookies? Oh, we're, we're basically there. This is it. This is it. Please don't fail me now, great tapping machine. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1 million! <laughs> we hit 1 million! Ah, <laughs> oh, this was so stupid, but I'm so happy. 
But that is basically going to wrap up this video. I have nothing else to show you guys, but I really appreciate you clicking on this video. I know it was really stupid. Uh, this is my first out of hopefully quite a few electronics videos, um, and they should get a lot more interesting. I already have the next one planned out, uh, and I'm super excited for it. Uh, but anyways, if you actually enjoyed this video, please leave a like, uh, please leave a comment, subscribe if you want to, or don't, that's fine too. Um, also, before I go, just check out Sticky Piston. They're really cool. Yeah. Sticky Piston is a Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from, such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out, and I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. 